Field ecology could take place anywhere. Right now, we're not too far out of the town of Abuvian in a, the country of Armenia. And what we're doing is working with Armenian vipers. They live in concert with agriculturalists, horticulturalists, and pastoralists. How they live together is a fascinating ecological study, and that's what we're here looking at. Animals are very tolerant to humans. And where humans do not disturb them, animals just come very close. And what I observed in protected areas, just the wildlife are roaming everywhere, just because humans don't disturb them. That's interesting to find the limits of tolerance, humans to wildlife and wildlife to, to, to humans. Shots push up at government. But at the same time, we need to be very careful with snakes. Actually, the places where, where they are building the buildings, which is around where the living is when I'm also dangerous snakes. People here in Armenia don't like snakes in general, especially poisonous ones, because they considered some danger from them. But they don't realize and don't care that uh, nature itself is like a chain. Everything is linked to each other. If they destroy one chain, they will lose another part of, of the chain. Be able to inform people you know, not only just about the Armenian viper, but about snakes in general and the role that they play. The fact that, you know, just because you're afraid of it doesn't mean you have to kill it. Through Wild Care Institute, one of our, you know, the goals of the, of the Institute is not just to collect scientific, you know, information, but to impart technology like we've done with the radio telemetry to colleagues in foreign countries. Um, and also to educate, you know, that it has to be this really uh, overarching approach that has multi-facets that come into play because you can collect all the scientific information you want and come up with a conservation strategy, but if you can't get buy-in from the people that live here, then it's, it's never going to succeed. When we go to the mountains, people always ask us, why do, don't we carry the firearms? Because it's dangerous. Because there are many bears there and wolves, I say. They're just, the only animal that I fear are people. And firearms will not help. I've seen many venomous vipers, so it's not a problem. Just people have the need to know how to behave with animals in the correct way because animals do not attack people just without a reason. If not cornered, animal will, will never attack you. Just don't go to the cave if you know that the brown bear is inside. Just, that's, that's simple. So, for example, it's the places where the humans can go. So, and the reason of the state reserve is that no people come and disturb these places so, and disturb their the natural habitats. Even what we're finding out about the viper is going to have more far-reaching implications for a lot of other species because if you're protecting habitat for one species you're taking in everything else as well. Snakes are a vital part of the, the ecosystem you know I mean they, they eat a lot of rodents um, and they're also food for their animals. It's a 
long-term project. Um, but I think, at, you know, that at the same time, we'll actually branch out and start studying some other species of reptiles here and other types of wildlife as well, and hopefully be able to bring that all together into a really good package of, you know, this is how we can manage the environment here in Armenia. Learning by doing. We need to, to go away from theoretical education. We need to do something practical. Because recently, for example, I heard a very smart idea that uh, if you hear, you forget. If you see, uh, you remember. And if you do, you learn. That's true. Because, for example, I, I don't know about different countries, uh, but in Armenia, education in biology and in the environment, it's purely theoretical. Uh, so, so students don't have an opportunity to go to the mountains to learn and see what they hear about. So they finish their education, they, they get their degree and they just stop. Because they don't understand what they do and for what. So we need to move children and students to nature.